Hi guys, hope everyone's having it good today. Um, it is, let me see, Monday the 10th of February 2020, so we've just got past that full moon. Uh, the energy is still oh, very strong. The moon's in Virgo now. The full moon happened in Leo, so she's moved on a bit, but uh, still 98% full. We've got third quarter coming up on the 15th. That's next Saturday. Um, so all the time now, it's very strong energy. It is waning a bit though, and I actually didn't have a crazy nightmare last night actually I had quite a nice dream anyway Virgo moon attention to detail is uh, still kind of it's increasing even though the moon is waning that is increasing under the Virgo moon fault finding that kind of thing people wanting uh, to have everything clean and neat which is uh, really difficult because that full moon brought in some incredibly strong winds and uh, it's just absolutely ripped the outside of my house to pieces. There's junk everywhere. I've been out and had a tidy. I'm going to be spending most of the day tidying up. So that actually is a great thing to be doing with a Virgo moon. Um, <clears throat> Look out for kind of the body. Uh, the body isn't happy about uh, rich food, food that doesn't agree with it. So look out for that one today. That's, uh, that's another thing to think about. Um, okay, at the moment, the moon is opposite Mercury. Mercury is really in the mix here today because uh, Mercury is in the pre-shadow to retrograde. It turns retrograde on Sunday the 16th, right at the end of this week or right at the beginning of next week, depending on which way you want to see that. But uh, right now, the moon is opposite Mercury. Uh, sensitive, you've got to communicate sensitively. Give a lot of attention to communication if you've got to talk to or if you're going to deal with people who might jump to their own conclusion, anything like that. Uh, strong emotions get involved. Things can get misunderstood really easily. And as always with Mercury, communication is an issue. You know, schedules could go wrong. Finding transport to places could go wrong. So plan any journeys carefully. And, uh, you know, particularly anything that you've got on a schedule, really look out for that going wrong because it could. Mercury is also sextiling Jupiter at the moment. Uh, so education, travel, transport, that kind of thing are uh, really difficult. A good time for exploring and a good time for learning. Just that the, uh, the minor details around those things could go wrong and that could play into the major details. So do be aware of that that hasn't changed since yesterday actually uh, Venus square Jupiter well this is a bit more positive but still needs watching okay because basically things can get over inflated things can just kind of um, get blown out of proportion very easily um, it's a really quite good time for um, if, if you've got like an obligation to thank someone for something, anything to do with gratitude, it's a real good time to show that now. That'll go down well. Um, but meetings, uh, weddings, anything like that. Um, well, you know, they're, they're prominent, basically. And uh, I'm not going to say they could go wrong, but with the Mercury alignment, they could be difficult, to say the very least. Uh, so taking a rundown of things, uh, Venus conjuncted Chiron, uh, that was 3.06am UK time, so that would have been uh, very late at night Pacific, and uh, just after, well no, just after 10pm Eastern, and uh, just after 7pm Pacific last night, so you'll be well aware of that in the States and Canada. Um, the Venus influence conjuncting Chiron, well you get the kind of the love, the money, the business ideals and everything, coming very closely into contact with Chiron, the wounded healer. And uh, Chiron's actually in two degrees of Aries at the moment. So, uh, you know, there's a kind of strictness about it and people are going to be f maybe feeling uh, difficult around anything to do with healing others and possibly wanting to heal themselves even more than that. That's not a selfish thing. You can't pour from an empty vessel. And uh, think about that one as you're going through today because that is definitely an influence. Uh, the sun quintiled Uranus. Now, what is a quintile? Um, it's an aspect of 72 degrees, really. It's what happens if you divide a circle of 360 degrees into five. And it's the pentagram angle. That is the angle for making a pentagram so that is uh, really playing into magic everything like that has to do with kind of individual style the way people do things and uh, the way people look that kind of thing as well and uh, if you've got a birth chart that ha has a preoccupation with kind of making creating 
joining things together and making arrangements, then uh, that really is going to play into it. Uh, it's a minor aspect, but you know, all these minor aspects make a difference. Uh, that was 3.15 a.m. UK time, so again, Sunday night in the States and Canada. 5.23 a.m. in UK, Venus semi-sextiled Uranus in uh, three degrees of Taurus. Now, uh, that is quite a, quite a thing in itself. Um, very positive thing actually because people tend to be able to break free from their usual routine and things get lively you get people wanting to dance or have a bit of music on people being more sociable than usual with uh, venus semi-sextile uranus so that's positive see there's loads of positives behind all this mercury stuff that worries people there really is but um you know it's never worth worrying too much because we are in control of our own lives and we can do what we need to do. Coming up later today, 4.30pm UK time, so 8 hours before that Pacific, 5 hours before that Eastern, Mars in 26 degrees Sagittarius is going to semi-sextile Saturn. So uh, then we've got that, thing, that semi-sextile thing coming in again. And uh, should be positive, you know, it's quite a nice positive alignment. Not quite as positive as a sextile, but it's pretty positive. Okay, guys, that is how it's looking today on Monday, the 10th of February, 2020. Thanks ever so much for watching. I uh, hope everyone's having it large today. It's a bit of a crazy day outside, but, you know, I'm inside. Best place to be in this weather. <laughs> Have a good one then. Thumbs up if you've enjoyed it, etc., etc. Give me a subscribe, tap the bell, and I'll see you again very, very soon. Soon. Peace.